So we had the question earlier today of where are the built-in titles um, installed on your Mac for Final Cut Pro? So basically, uh, when we're talking about the built-in titles, we're talking about the build-in and out titles, uh, the bumper and opener, the credits, uh, the kind of basic elements that we have here. Um, and in Final Cut Pro, if we want to, um, we can right-click here and open a copy in Motion. It's actually going to create a copy of that. For some reason, Motion isn't launching uh, for me at the moment, but if we click OK here, um, then we can see in my Movies folder, in my Motion templates under Titles, um, that build in out uh, continuous copy has basically been added in there. So if I come back to Final Cut Pro, and see I've got a blur copy here as well, which is uh, broken, um, but basically that's a copy of this original file. So if I right click here and make a copy in motion, then basically uh, that blur copy um, will be there in my home folder, in my movies folder, and then in my templates there. So that answers uh, half the question. Uh, I'm not quite sure why the, the blur copy is not working there. I made a copy earlier, so maybe there's uh, something a bit weird going on. Um, but if we want to find the actual original version of these, then we can jump into our applications folder. So if we go to applications here, and I'm going to type in FIN, which is going to take me to the final cut library manager from Arctic Whiteness. Um, and then if we go to Final Cut Pro, and instead of double clicking on it, if we right click on it and go to show package contents, then in here, if we type in uh, build for the build in out uh, folder, then you can see here we have all those built in kind of motion templates. So under this very long file name here, so Final Cut Pro contents, plugins, media providers, motion effects, contents, resources, templates, titles, we have the building out. So if I click in templates here, then you'll see in here all the built-in templates um, and transitions and effects and generators. Now, this is definitely something you don't want to touch. You don't want to move things in here or delete things. It's really going to mess up your Final Cut Pro. I think I might have started that already by duplicating the motion template and then deleting it. But if we jump into build in out, for instance, and we grab one of these folders, so the comic book uh, fade uh, template here, I'm just going to right click on that and copy it. So copy comic book. And then if I jump into my movie fo movies folder, my motion templates and my titles, I've got a folder called Ben's titles here. I can then go to edit and paste item or command and V and paste that in there. So now I have my own copy of this fade template that I can open up in motion, modify and edit and change. And then if I come back into Final Cut Pro, you'll see that if I come back, oh, it's fixed itself, the blur copy is back. Um, I think because I duplicated it again, uh, it is working, it's just not showing up right in my library here. But if I come to my uh, type generators here, so Ben's titles, you can see in here um, we have a few different ones that I've dropped in there, and then the fade comic book one which we just duplicated. So we can go into that version in Apple Motion now and, and make some changes. So if we grab, oh, it looks like I may not have the font installed here. So uh, the type is doing something funny here. Uh, so if I come to the title, um, I can come to the inspector across on the left. You can see we've got comic script, regular, I'm not going to touch this, but one thing I could do, for instance, is change the color here. We'll just change it to an orange, and we'll do the same for the subtitle. Okay, so an orange and a green. And now if we save that, uh, once saved, this file cannot be opened by previous versions of Motion. That's fine. We definitely should check that. So this is my version in my Movies folder. So if I save that and 
save the original. It's going to overwrite the original. And then when I come back to Final Cut Pro and I come to this version of it and drag it onto the timeline here, you can see I've got that orange and green version that I edited in motion. So if you're looking to get into working with plugins in Final Cut Pro, then this is a nice way of starting. You can kind of see in Apple Motion um, how some of the animation has been done, how things have been set up and uh, kind of experiment and play around gradually uh, by learning uh, new kind of tips and tricks in Apple Motion in conjunction with Final Cut Pro 10. But as I mentioned, this question popped up from someone wondering where the original templates were that you normally see in Final Cut Pro and they are in this folder in Final Cut Pro and we can kind of go in there and find them copy them to our folder, don't delete them here. Um, but yeah, it's a good way of experimenting with a different uh, kind of plugins and starting to build your own plugins from Apple Motion to Final Cut Pro. So hopefully that's helpful. It's kind of a quick answer to a question that popped up today. Um, if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial or answer to different questions. Um, and thanks for watching.